All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you what tools you need in order to do SEO effectively. And I'm also going to show you what other additional tools you can use for additional features and get things done as well. So there are three main tools that I believe that you need to actually be able to do SEO. The first one is an effective keyword research tool such as SEMrush. Now, I actually did SEO for a couple of years without having a tool like this, but I can tell you it makes a major difference having something like this and I'll explain why. So something like SEMrush allows you to do keyword research to a depth that you could not do without it. It also allows you to do competitor research as well. If you don't have a tool like this, it's, it's gonna be very difficult to do. So I'll give you a couple of examples. So let's open SEMrush, let's type in a keyword and you can see that this is all the data that SEMrush gives us and this is why it's so important. So you type in the keyword here and basically it tells you how many people are searching the keyword. It tells you how hard SEMrush's estimation is going to be in order to rank for this keyword. It also tells you the search volume in other countries as well. And what it also does, it gives you all the variations of that keyword and the search volume and the difficulty for all of those. And it also gives you what the search results page looks like, including the page authority score, how many referring domains and how many backlinks each of these websites had. So very quickly, you can get a very good idea of what it's going to take to actually rank for the keyword that you're trying to rank for. And then not only that, if you go into keyword variations, then within here, you can also find out a bunch of different things about your keywords, the variations of these keywords, you know, then you can open up, let's say this specific keyword and look at that one and then the variations for that one and so on. It's very, very in depth and it gives you a lot of data. You would be going blind without if you didn't have. So you could use something like the Google ads keyword planner, which is free to get the search volume for keywords, but it's not going to give you the things like the different questions like we saw here. I'll show you here, for instance, the questions, how to find a good plumber in Sydney and things like that. You won't find those in Google Keyword Planner. You can see here, there's a lot of lot more questions when you set the right location. These are all potential keywords you should be targeting with blogs, for instance, and you just won't find that data. You also won't know how hard it's gonna to be to rank for a keyword. It's also not gonna make it as easy to see the search results, et cetera, et cetera. And so this gives you a lot of data and saves you a lot of time, which is why it's so important, if not to say crucial or essential to have a tool like this, because what's gonna happen is if you don't have one like this, you're gonna be competing against people like me who do, and you're going to have a very hard time actually ranking for especially more competitive keywords. I'm not going to go into all the details of what SEMrush allows you to do, but what it also allows you to do is spy on competitors as well. So let's take these guys, for instance, I can open up them, I can throw them in. And what it's going to do is it's going to give me all the data about them. So how much traffic they're getting, how many backlinks they have, who is linking to them, what keywords they rank for. You can see here what trend is happening for their traffic. You can see the keywords. You can see all the different competitors as well. You can do a whole analysis, like a competitive analysis. There's a whole thing you can do, and I'm going to make a video on a complete tutorial on SEMrush specifically so that you can go through and see how to do all those things. But basically, it allows you to do all those things which you would not be able to do without it. And the other thing as well is it also will do site audits for you, and it will actually do ranking reports as well that you can either get for yourself or for your clients. So I would highly recommend getting a tool like SEMrush if you're going to do SEO. Personally, I recommend this this one because I use it and I'm going to put my affiliate link below if you want to try it out with a seven day free trial. However, something like Ahrefs will also get the job done. There's a couple others as well, but those are the two main ones. Now, the next tool that I recommend is Google Analytics. So with Google Analytics, this is free. It's a free tool from Google and you install it on the website and then it tracks what's happening on the actual website. So this will give you a very accurate overview of what is actually going on. So what I mean by that is if we go into the reports and we go into acquisition, we can see here exactly how many people have come to our website from what channel. So whether it's organic search, organic social, it would say paid if you were running ads as well. You can see how many sessions, which means like how many times they were on the site, etc. what conversions. So what's important about this is you can set up conversion tracking for a particular action and that will tell you how many people from which channel completed that action which is pretty crucial if you're trying to track leads or sales and you want to know which traffic source is working for you whether it's paid whether it's organic etc you can track that here in google analytics if you don't do this you're not going to know otherwise on what's actually going on you can also see the conversion rate which is going to tell you how effective your pages are and what you can actually do with this as well is you can go into the specific page see if we go here and we select landing page plus query string if you hit that one and you select 
page screen. What it's going to tell you is it's going to tell you what page they landed on. And then you can also see the conversion rate of that actual page as well. And so this will tell you if you've got an issue or your content's not good or you can optimize it better, etc. to with this data. Otherwise, you would not know what's happening. So this is the main thing that I use Google Analytics for. And it's very, very good to tell you what's happening with the users who land on your website, how many are actually coming on there and what actions they're taking so that you can actually track all that and optimize it accordingly. Now, the third tool is Google Search Console. And what Google Search Console does, it basically tells you what is happening on Google Search before people land on your website. So Google Analytics tells you what happens once they're on your website and where they came from. Google Search Console is telling you what's happening in the Google organic search results. So this is the overview it gives you. It tells you what pages are being indexed, which pages are not being indexed. It will tell you if there's any errors, if, if there's anything you need to improve. You can also go here and see exactly what keywords people are searching and then clicking on to get on your website and you can also see what pages are getting clicks and you can set up filters between all these to see what keywords for this page are showing up what countries are coming from etc so that you can see if you've got keyword cannibalization which pages are ranking for which keywords etc i do have a tutorial on how to use google search console I'll put in a link above i also do have one on google analytics as well i'm going to put a link as well in the description below so how to set them up and how to use them as well and then that's going to help you know what you can do with them but basically these three tools are going to let you see see like the keyword research and the competitors and everything you need to know around that you're going to be able to see how your website's performing on google search and what keywords you know what urls etc and then you're going to be able to track what people are doing once they actually land on your website that's google analytics so that basically covers most of it and you can get away with using just these three tools mostly for for seo there are a couple of additional tools you can use as well and i'm going to show you what they are now they're not obligatory but they will help you with certain aspects so the first one is zimwriter and i've mentioned zimwriter before this is an ai writing tool that uses the open ai's api key to write you blog posts that are seo optimized now again i'm not going to give you a whole tutorial on zimwriter i have made several already i'll put a link above and in the description below if you want to learn how to use Zimwriter it's a very good tool that I personally use and the pages that I've made with Zimwriter do actually rank on Google that's why I'm recommending it because it has worked in my experience they are ranking it is good Zimwriter allows you like I said to write articles using AI essentially and spit out a lot you can either write them one at a time that are very optimized with the specific headlines you want etc that you can put in here you can use the bulk writer which allows you to write up to a thousand articles at once based on headlines alone etc and get all that done so that's a tool i would recommend it's not very expensive it's about 15 dollars a month or i can't remember how much a year you can buy it either monthly or yearly so it's very cheap for what it actually does and i would definitely recommend it if you're putting out content now the next one is surfer seo and basically what this one will do is it will tell you exactly what keywords and how long your article needs to be and so on based on the competitors on google search so you can see here like it'll give you the specific keywords that you should include otherwise known as entities in your article so that you actually cover the topic properly and you're actually going to rank etc gives you an optimization score and so on also will tell you what topics you should include in the article etc so you don't have to do surfer seo and to be honest, I write most of my articles without it, just using Zimwriter and basic analysis that I do, and they do rank. However, especially if you're in a competitive niche, this would be a good idea to do this so that you stand a better chance of ranking. And the third tool that I would recommend is Omega Indexer. This one is also very cheap. I think it's like 20 bucks or something to index 20,000 uh, links, something along those lines. Don't quote me on that. There's actually a pricing. But basically, yeah, you can see here it's $20 to index 1,000 links. What Omega Indexer does is you throw all your links in here, whether it's your website, whether it's backlinks you've made or whatever you want to index, and you throw it through here and it will pass it out through a bunch of websites and however they do it, each indexer has their own way to do it, which basically alerts Google that it exists by linking to it. And and then Google will index that link faster. And so that's going to help you rank faster because the faster Google knows that that link exists, the faster it is going to be to index it. And then as a result, it's more likely to impact you quickly. And so that's what Omega Indexer is. Again, you don't have to use it. I spent a lot of time doing SEO without it and I still got results. However, it is good to use and it's not very expensive. So you may as well. So those are the tools that I would recommend. There's obviously a lot of other tools that will do a similar job. However, these are the ones that I would recommend based on my personal experience. Like I said, a tool like SEMrush, Google Analytics, and Google Search Console, I would consider 
pretty much mandatory. And then you have tools like Surfer SEO, Omega Indexer and Zimrider, which are supplementary and will help you in specific aspects of SEO, depending on what you're doing. So hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you have any questions about any of this, put them in the comments below and I will answer them. Otherwise, if you'd like me to coach you on how to do SEO and Google ads for only $49 a month, go to learndominatemarketing.com. And if you'd like us to do the SEO or Google ads for your business, go to dominatemarketing.io and book a call with us there. Catch you on the next one.